Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Felix here at the Heart Center. Um, it is the 29th of September. Um, and I'm just here to do an energy report for the month to come, what we've kind of been going through and where we're kind of going to. I'm touching base on all these different things and nuances within within the month as well. It's been a really interesting month, but first, um, We'll just get into a couple of events that I've got running in October. The first is on the 2nd of October, which is Self Care Monday, um, which is a group healing, a free group calibration um, healing session um, to join all together. Uh, the details will be down below. You just have to RSVP on my website. The second one is a healing and development circle. Um, it's a, a continuation of what was happening this month as well uh september um because it was so much fun to do um and people were really kind of coming out of their shells within it um it feels natural to kind of go on and, and continue a little bit more with that and just to allow the progression to kind of take place and see see where it goes really um i think working in that way it's really fun because when you follow the flow, it just kind of allows uh, more possibility, more teaching to come through in, in its own way, in its own form. Um, and also then you're kind of just allowing your guidance structure to, to take over and just lead the way that it's meant to be done. Um, the following from that, so on the 10th of October at 6 p.m., we've got the 1010 Gateway. Um, a follow on from the 99 and also the 88 been really strong um progressions these past three well two months going into the third month so this should be quite interesting to see where we go with this one um and then on the 26th we've got a um a group grid session which I don't know where it's going to be focused on. We actually did a group grid session last night. Um, it was really wonderful. Um, there's a lot more that needs to be unraveled within it, but it was all focused on, on and around Tibet. Um, Tibet seemed to be like the, the focal point that needed a bit of help there. And this was all tied in with the planetary gate systems um, and where the invasion lies. So I guess this is kind of, a great point of call to start the the energy update as to what I've been seeing and communicating with. And I just want to put a big thanks to Doris for helping me um, unravel some really, really tightly bound information within this month as well. Um, and for the wonderful healing as well. It was, I really, really appreciate you so much. Um, so yeah, thank you. And also Indigo as well, um, India Angel, um, for the Lemurian male uh, implant removal. That was great too. Really, really enjoyed that. Thank you so much. Um, and also to Louisa Tanner Munson as well. Um, her, I did a podcast with her uh, earlier this month and it was it was so much fun. It was so great to connect with her um, and just dive into all the all, all the good stuff. Um, I will post a link down below for for um, those videos. It was just so nice to to communicate again, and I feel. Well, she's already asked me to come back on to her thing, um, as has Indy, to go and do some more grid work on her channel. So, yeah, it's 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 really nice. Feeling that harvest abundance coming in with all the love and all the, the niceties. Um, so, yeah, it's I really, really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Um, so, this whole topic of the invader races... Um, has been coming in and out of my awareness since probably about the 10th of September. Um, and it was really interesting to dive into this because what I was getting was such tight, concise, con concise information about the, um, the Earth invasion, but also the um, dark plan to hijack the um, divine blueprint, essentially. So it was an idea to kind of um, hijack dimensional gates and the planetary gate systems and the galactic gate systems to kind of take it as a stronghold and allow the um, 
or to control the flow of light that moves through the systems and the yeah the flow of light the flow of energy and of beings to pass through these different um gates so this was really interesting to me because i was thinking oh, why is this coming up now at the moment um there's always a reflection um in the physical form as to what it is that we're trying to kind of work through dissolve resolve um fundamentally kind of build a climax towards the end of it really um this is uh essentially the the kind of dark structure the overlord structure um that we're trying to recalibrate out essentially um <laughs> And it's interesting because as the information or the memories of these um, invader race timelines will hold um, history of oneself um, within that where um, fallen aspects of the self have kind of participated within those structures, um, we gain access to the memories to be able to work to heal them. So. I feel like that's just one minor part of it, but it is still a significant part because the invasion of Earth is so multifaceted and multi-layered that getting to um, process your own memories within it doesn't even hold a full truth is what I'm feeling at the moment with that. It feels as though um, it's just the tip of the iceberg of what it is on a collective level we are doing to um, revoke and rebuke entry points of, of these invaders that have kind of hijacked our own systems and hijacked the planetary gates to kind of take control and run a kind of um, world domination agenda or <laughs> New World Order agenda, if you wish. Um, that what we're watching within that is the breakdown of those structures. It's the inability to hold substance. It's the inability to hold power. Um, and what's kind of coming back with that as we choose to dive into the memories of history or within the storylines of history, we're then able to recalibrate our own energy, our own systems to heal the choice points that were taken way back when on a linear perspective or <laughs> adjunct uh, or on, on the same kind of time frame. Um, within that, to, to create different choice points and to choose a pathway of healing um, as opposed to a pathway of separation and one of the key focal points that I've been picking up this month um is the reconstruction of separation and opposition I'm just making a note as I go along with this because it's it's it feels quite significant so I feel like it's going to be somewhere that we'll talk about so as we kind of work through to understand the, the backlog of information within the invasion times, we can then see how our energy has been fragmented, controlled, manipulated, and dispersed into um, like a multifaceted fractal expression and um, some parts of it within those fractals it can be um degradated it can be destructive um so as we work to understand the memories and from this choice point um where we can remember we can actually then choose a pathway of unification of healing and of um rebuilding the mind so it's really interesting how this kind of i want to say like a uh, a split is kind of occurring or taking place um 
and it is within those splits where we're able to kind of further and see ourselves so it feels like we're kind of talking into a deepening of the bifurcation here as we're going to processing through the um the timeline and understanding why there is such deep separation um but then given the choice to 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 really thrust oneself into a more unified expression a um healed mind uh which essentially pushes further into fifth dimensional consciousness into a um more unified space whereas on the other side the ones who have chosen the latter we're then going to be focusing into the separation consciousness the, or duality consciousness if you will um to deeper that illusion on that level which is kind of fundamentally the way that that kind of builds it almost looks like a cloud formation which is kind of surrounding this group of people but within that what I feel is the the propulsion only pushes the fifth dimensional essence higher so it's within that that we gain the momentum to kind of be as true to ourselves so it's really becoming split in the sense of of, of the bifurcation interesting i have no idea we we're going to go down that route today to be honest um so what i would like to kind of go into next what i'm feeling next is just looking at the levels of um deeper healing how would that then affect the rest of the collective or the rest of ourselves in in the process okay so as this group of ascending beings is coming up into more higher levels what i do feel is that there is the group of the 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 cloud group essentially becoming almost more thicker however there is a subgroup as well within that that does bridge over in between um the two worlds however within that as well even within the third dimensional infrastructure it also feels like they're getting some level of healing and understanding as well they're being drawn into the awareness of the collapse so it's almost as if there is such heavy resistance to it but it's still pushing them into having to see it it's just taking them a much more slower transition through because there is so much force against it's becoming thick and um heavy for it to actually process um that's really interesting okay did not know that um so yeah going back into these invader races uh within the healing and the repair when when we're kind of looking at all these different things these different attributes what is the impact that's happening to the the group field um and also into the galactic body, actually, because when we're pulling this back, what I've been seeing repeatedly is recalibration of the planetary gate systems and of the galactic gate systems, um, repair of the stargates, and also repair of um, the channels where the uh, movement of light is able to kind of pass through without it being siphoned, without it being infiltrated or damaged. That movement of of energy um with within that healing it's it's kind of rebuilding the organic light body uh template and the the map system to move between the worlds and the realms
aturas makeras mas mayana atia trasma asia kora okay mas mayokora asia so within the process of of doing the healing and working to identify your place and part within the um history of of the invasions if we're able to kind of access that surely we can pull ourselves back from this this kind of time phase but how would that kind of create an imposition how would it work and how would it um How would it impact that side if one was to call back their energy? So calling back the resonance through these things and understanding the participation, we can then see how that had a knock-on effect into the physical world and how this control structure that's implemented and played with the same kind of... Um, intention as as what's kind of playing out with the nwo we can then see um the cracks in the system as we progressively heal as a collective and as an ind individual level um how the system is breaking down which is fascinating a long time coming and also uh quite brutal at the same time so it's what we wanted but sometimes there may be a bypassing of realization as to how we're going to get there um and when we kind of watch and observe that it can be quite daunting and it can be quite tumultuous particularly for those that are shielding themselves from from this experience with the resistance we can see how their realities are going to fracture and break down slowly and softly might I add, but to them it's going to be deeply and impactful with the weight of um, the weight of um, emotion and attachment to their core belief systems and to their um, to their environment really so it's a case of kind of understanding from all levels and all sides how this is going to impact and play and what is it that we can kind of do about that sometimes we don't have to do anything in this case i don't feel like we have to do much apart from be supportive when it needs it but to go through a death and rebirth and i'm sure many of you watching this will have gone through that it is traumatic uh through a, a real death rebirth cycle it is heavily traumatic anyone who's done dark night of the soul and gone through a death rebirth you go through many during that cycle alone um to step into a kind of higher presence and a higher state of being um so it's how can we kind of work with our with our neighbor to create that bridge between the worlds i'm sure i've spoken about this before um it now what i'm feeling within it it doesn't there doesn't need to be too much kind of strenuous like push pull or here's the who here's the information you need to be looking at kind of thing sometimes it's just a hug that they need and a sympathetic ear for them to understand or be heard and be understood um, so yeah, it's it, it's it's been quite a lot um, in processing this now. If we can work in to heal the invader race and call back the essence, what does that do on an individual level? Because the healing of this kind of consciousness. Um, would act almost like as an invader of the minefields it, it 
opens the layers where invasion is welcome um, because that energy is being held and it's it's become essentially um, So as we kind of work to to re repattern that on that yatra, um, we are able to kind of reconstruct levels of our own depth of shadow where fallen race consciousness would have sat um, and experienced, which is the part that has gone into such rejection of self and rejection of God, uh, of God's source that it's lost who it became and anybody quite a lot of people that i've been working with recently have also gone through this kind of um identity transformation um in understanding why they are kind of um feeling so lost in themselves at the moment or or kind of needing a new path of direction and it is through um finding more alignment within the self finding more truth within oneself and one's and strength um I'm not okay to so kiyakura which then repatterns the the core foundation of of your structure to allow a kind of more grounded identity of your source expression to build through which then when you come into these challenging points of um being pushed around being questioned or attempting to be attempting to control you it's going to have a strong kickback because you recognize your residence your resonance even within your within yourself um, and you know your resonance with your truth, which then catalyzes a stance where you don't take any crap along the journey, really, which is quite a magical thing in the long run, because this is kind of what we've been fighting for, for for so long. There's so much kind of control, so much opposition. And within that healing and restoring of the invader races of your own identity within that structure, or within any fallen race structure, um you're then able to reclaim the deep like the deep recesses the hardest parts of the self to repurpose and update um and claim claim back the power within essentially that was hard <laughs> it's like i've got information coming in consistently within this it's just trying to live channel and and translate um directly i was like wow so much going in there let's make this a little bit smoother okay so with that portion done what i also actually have been finding lately is that the veils have been so much thinner um to access different points of information it feels um or it has been feeling um really amazing to access this kind of information that's usually really really heavily buried um and and bring it bring it to light um with more ease and more clarity so that in and of itself on a collective level people should be finding it a lot easier to kind of um communicate with their higher aspects and with their own history um, to be able to maintain um this sorry yeah to be able to maintain the information from um uh from collapse so it doesn't it, it doesn't fall back on itself sometimes when you go into the fields it can be you'll get flashes of information um rather than big portions of information like it has been over like recently so it feels like we're kind of easily streaming monadic 
monadic information, monadic energy, monadic blueprints and templates um, of of history into into your awareness at the moment, um, rather than drips and drabs and having to unravel it all and you know break it all down. So it is, it has been highly, highly, highly abundant um, through this harvest month. Um, in all essence of the word, whether it is financial, whether it is kind of with love, with abundance, with information, but it's also been such an accelerant for your own soul's journey, your own soul's development and your spiritual growth. Um, and if it's not spiritual, it's going to be on a working basis as well. So you're going to hit like a point where it's it's kind of flipped on where you were stuck and stagnant before. It feels like it's going to be or it has been really hitting the hitting the peaks of um, pulling things in which um is is just wonderful and i actually feel like through these big upgrade periods it kind of plateaus and levels out but maintains a steady flow for a while um so yeah so within this monadic um monadic easy download period what i actually looked into was information prior to the Lyran Wars. Um, and what I started to download was information regarding like the, I don't really fully understand it myself, to be honest at the moment, I need to work more into it, but it was regarding um, betrayals for pre um, Lyran invasion. It felt like it was, it was connected into the Emerald Order. It was connected into the um, infiltration of the Emerald Order. Um, where uh, negative structures had kind of um, hijacked the system and fundamentally down the line, they actually really did hijack the system in a 13th dimensional time matrix, um, which then caused a hell of a lot of chaos on Earth. So prior to the actual invasion, this was how I was seeing um, the history coming in. It was within uh, pre-invasion, basically. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to find words to kind of um, quantify it at the moment. So what it kind of looked like was this vast white structure. <laughs> it was, it was, I mean, it was just light, really, light and geometry. But within that, the aim and the plan was to, from this this kind of world or domain, was to hijack this emerald structure and flip and reverse the um, universal grid system. Um, so what kind of came in from that was the depth of betrayal. It was betrayal that was, I mean, it was horrible to be honest, but the the betrayal was so intense that somebody who would be so loved and trusted or groups of people that would be so loved and trusted to on an ev evolution pathway to then reverse the systems and devolve um, many people um, I feel like within this history, there is more history behind it that's yet to be unraveled. It feels a little bit beyond my scope at the moment, to be honest. But um, what I'm understanding, yeah, it does feel like there is that, but I feel like I need to unravel it more. Um, so when I do, I will I will do an update on it, but it feels so um, historic um 
within the field, the primordial fields of creation, um, that the plans to hijack and distort the consciousness almost feels like it's ready to reset as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of some of the stuff that I've been picking up on in um in during September, these big changes. Now, at the start of September, I also said that the the financial stuff will will kind of kick in, and I still stand by that. Um, there's there's been a lot of positive development over the past month that I've come across and and found. Um, so yeah, let's just see how we kind of progress forwards in in October. Um, what I would like to do is just run a healing here. Um, whilst we've got some time, um, this whole theme of um opposition within oneself, um has been popping up so much and it is that opposition between the um separation and opposition held between the invasion races the levels of betrayal um where we kind of get pushed and pulled into different directions and we notice that within our own self as well where our aspects aren't necessarily aligning up and, and trusting each other or or working with each other they can be working against each other Um, but yeah, this has been a very, very interesting month of 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 deep galactic information coming through um, and restructuring of that. So let's just go in to meditation now. I'm going to go ahead and take in some breaths. I'm going to work with the emerald ray. And we're just going to unravel the thick cloud of smoky white surrounding the emerald structure. And we just want to bring that light in to the structure and really amplify the frequency. Separating the crossed sword symbolism so it becomes two separate swords, which then creates into a from a battle templating. into a warrior templating. And in actual fact, what I'd like to do here is I'd just like to dismantle the warrior, the need to fight.
I'm just starting to see all this history unlock. The initiate betrayals. Mariotto, small kia pura satia. Recoding the history, Amatoria Turas Nakia Kura Maati. It's like being cheated by your own kind. Unraveling. And locking all the way down the back side of the head, all the way down through the back left side body. Heat through the solar plexus as we allow this to unravel. We want to demesh the energy systems. Releasing, revoking, rescinding, those files, agreements, contracts, covenants, blocking and suppressing this information from coming forwards. Blocking and suppressing the ability to process. Unraveling the blueprint. <laughs> And as the blueprint starts to unfold, we're just then going to see a lifting of grey black smoke coming through the light structure of the blueprint.
releasing shock. Anger and angst. That the other plus me agora pora, say a tunus no ocuporia taras na aki. A kirishness na atiama or the boriatoras na kia pora, a maatia na aha kirishne is ya maaho or no otiatorosmos no yotara. DNA recode, decode, recode. and unlocking through the third eye. Lifting out seal system. Crystal iridescent light, building of the 13, no, 12. Atoras me tiras nas mea, tau guardians, yama ati atoras nas mea. If they hold their hands up in the air, these are coming through as holographic light spectrums that are presenting as people, but they're not actually in a human form or in a, it's like in a crystalline light form. Um, with their perceived arms raised up in the air. I'm then seeing the history transform. As we unlock reversal coding. Reversal architecture. and reversal structures. Okay, repattern DNA. Hybridization. Or oh, it's like a seed point for hybridization really. Pre I want to say like a pre pre matter manifestation, but it's not. It's, it is a, it's a seed point plan, or it's like a, a stage or a step into a plan. I'm just allowing that to really unlock.
and separating out the forms. And all the gray miscoloration run to restore. Na to porasi akala altiama, nikiris nasio na okio kopora. Restructure, reset, update geometries. Then update through all fields. Call back all of the essence within this infrastructure. Repair, heal, whole, complete. Illuminate. and reintegrate now through all levels or layers and seal forward through the breath of the divine I am. Thanks everybody. Okay, so I will be obviously doing sessions all month. If you do feel like coming and having a session, my website is Um, I am gonna be away from the 12th to the 19th, having a well needed holiday. Um slash a bit of a grid work trip as well <laughs> um but yeah um i will be away during those periods so i'm trying to limit my sessions during that time but yeah before and after absolutely um okay have a lovely 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 october um sending you so much love so much happiness so much joy and excitement for october to come Mwah. lots of love bye